we have a Node.js project here, actually a Next.js project, but it could be any other Node.js project like Nox.js, Nest.js, Express.js, and so on. And here we have a env file and inside the env file we have two environment variable database url and port and if i go to any typescript file and say for example process.env that you can see we don't have type safety and auto completion for the env variables inside the env file but we can fix this in a second all we have to do is to create a TypeScript file. Okay, here in the root layout of our project, I'm going to create a file called types.es. And inside it, I'm going to say declare namespace node.js. Just pay attention to the spelling. And then inside it, I'm going to export an interface process env. And again, just pay attention to the spelling of process env. And here inside it, now we can define our env variables. So we have a database URL. So just copy that paste it here and set its type to just string and then we have a port variable here inside the env file just copy that and then here set its value just to string so i save this and here i go back to the test.ts file and now if i hit the control space you can see now we have the auto completion and type safety for the database url and also the port and that's it you can easily create type safety and auto completion for your env variable inside any node.js project but one thing you should pay attention here is that the TypeScript file that you are going to declare your Node.js namespace must be included here inside the include member of the TS config file. So here, as you can see, our type file will be satisfied with this pattern. So the TypeScript will compile this type.ts file. Okay, that's it for this video. And before ending this video, I want to mention that I'd love to know what topics or idea you would like me to cover in my upcoming videos. So please feel free to share your suggestion in the comments below. Thanks for being an awesome part of our community. Bye-bye.